Lord, you know her from Suddenly Susan, stand-up comedy specials on HBO, Comedy Central, and Bravo, and countless talk shows. Check out her website at kathygriffin.net and see season two of her Emmy-nominated hit show, My Life on the D-List, currently airing on Bravo. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome the hilarious Kathy Griffin. Terry Schiavo coverage and turn to a loved one and say, if I even get a head cold, fucking kill me. <laughs> if I sniffle again, pull that plug. I, I don't wanna. And how about if Mel, how Bill Gibson is still fucked up in the mugshot? <laughs> I'm fucked up now. I'm brave heart. Not today. So what I'm fascinated by is how how did the racial epithets even come up? All right, now I know this is just me being like a dumb girl, but whenever I get pulled over, I literally burst into tears, <laughs> right? Because I, I, you know, I'm a child of the 70s, and I think of like those Linda Blair, you know, prison movies. <laughs> so if I get pulled over for a taillight, I'm like, don't ask me, please. <laughs> <laughs> I'm scared what happens. <laughs> I don't want a broomstick up there. <laughs> I don't want to be the new fish. All right, so... <laughs> Okay, so anyway, so Mel Gibson gets pulled over, arrested. How did it go from can I see your license and registration to the fucking Jews? How did that even happen? How did that even happen? All right, even I know we don't fuck with the Jews. Even I don't fuck with the Jews, lesbians, or Barbara Walters. That's it. I'm scared of all of them. Okay. So let's talk about Scientology. So anyway, it's a, I think it's so funny. So my lawyers have warned me though that even though I can talk about Scientology, it's not actionable, I should be careful because the Scientologists are so notoriously litigious. So um, this can't leave this room. All right, here we go. Um, first of all, I think it's funny the list of celebrities that are Scientologists, right? So you got the Tom Cruise, the John Travolta, 
Please tell me you saw that picture in the Inquirer of John Travolta kissing that guy on the lips! On the lips! Alright, I don't know a lot of straight guys. I admit it. But here's what I know. They don't kiss each other on the lips. That's what I know. Straight guys see each other, they don't hug. Maybe they don't do this weird, remember, you know how they all think they're black straight guys? Think they're black. They do that weird, like, ghetto shit. They do not, they don't kiss on the lips. John Travolta, there's a huge picture of him in the Inquirer. A guy getting onto his private plane, oh, I mean, an unnamed male companion. And Travolta's doing this shit. With the fucking leg up! It's super gay. Alright, so. Tom Cruise on Travolta, Kirstie Alley. <laughs> right? I miss really fat Kirstie. I don't like medium Kirstie, that's boring to me. I like when she had her big fat ass sticking out when she was gardening, eating a cheeseburger. <laughs> Hot red hand, that's my Kirstie. Alright, so, who else is in Scientology? Lisa Marie Presley, um, Jenna Elfman from Dharma and Greg, uh, Leah Remedy from King of Queens, who I like. I saw her at the Emmys, and I, actually, I think she's kind of fun. So I made a joke about cutting in front of her in line, and she turned to me and she goes, I swear to God, if you cut in front of me, I'm going to kick you in your twat. <laughs> 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 that was funny. Because she's a lady. <laughs> All right, who else? Um, Ann Archer. Mimi Rogers, who I blame for the whole thing, right? Um, Jason Lee from My Name is Earl. Right? I know! Oh. <laughs> right? Oh. You hear him trying to tell you, you're like, hmm, mm, bummer. Um, who else? Beck, the singer. I'm a loser, baby. Beck. I know. So how can you be alternative and Scientologist? It makes no sense to me. Um, okay, so get this shit. I, and by the way, I love when Tom Cruise is very indignant in interviews. And he says, would you make fun of someone's religion? Fuck yeah, Tom, it's all on the table. <laughs> Oh yeah, I get in fights with my mom all the time because my mom is very Catholic and very conservative. I um, am what you would call um, a fallen Catholic. <laughs> yeah, I fell so far I woke up in Beijing. Anyway, <laughs> and I love to torture my mom and we always get these fights and I always call the Catholics a bunch of kid fuckers. And she, <laughs> it's fun, it's fun. And, oh yeah, and by the way, you know what my mom's defense is when I say that all the Catholics are kid fuckers? No! <laughs> that's it, Mom? That's all you got? Oh, Kathleen, you exaggerate. Some of those priests hardly even touch those kids. <laughs> all right, so... I know, it's fun. Okay, so... Uh, I had a girlfriend named Judy Toll, who actually was from Havertown. Very, very funny comedian, went on to become a writer on Sex in the City. She's since passed away, but she was one of my best friends, and get this, she joined Scientology for a year, then decided to get out, which is very unusual, right? And she had to hire an attorney who specializes in getting people out of cults to get her out, right? But wait, here's the best part, she gave me all the dirt. Okay, get ready. So here's what happened. First of all, it's all about the money, right? Which to me is the first red flag. God is supposed to be free. But the Scientology is all about paying for the classes and paying for the more expensive classes and buying the stuff and money, money, money. Okay, so here's, um, by the way, he, what I'm about to say about Scientology is a comedic interpretation to the best of my recollection. Therefore covered under satire of the First Amendment of the Constitution of the United States of America. I love The first thing you do is you do this thing called auditing, which ironically is very much like therapy, where apparently you sit down with one of the upper wings or whatever, and you kind of confess all your sins and stuff. All right, so the dirt is that that's why Cruz and Travolta can never leave Scientology, because Scientology has all the gay shit on them from back in the day. <laughs> Now that's just a rumor, and that's good enough for me. <laughs> I don't have time for facts. All right, so anyway, you do the auditing, then you do this other thing where you go in a dry sauna and you sweat out your toxins, which I don't want to do. I find my toxins comforting, but that's me. So you sweat out your toxins, which by the way, how gay is that?